Fine. You can stay there. Then. Set. Set. Ah. 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 You're going to be messing up the whole shot, you huffing and puffing. Everybody's going to hear you huffing and puffing. But anyway, welcome back to Midnight Run. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, the last couple years and stuff, I kind of just been reviewing the same rifles and been messing around with the same rifles. So I think it would be only fair if I just did my <laughs> favorite to lease rifle that I own. This most certainly is not all of them, but these are kind of my heavy hitters that I use most. So I'm going to go kind of down the line and tell you guys what I feel my favorite rifle is out of my collection. We're still doing it. We're still giving away one midnight run hat to one lucky commenter, commenteer. All you gotta do is comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel, and I pick one lucky person um, every week. But if I do pick you and I respond, hey, send me over your info. Where do you want me to send this to? What do you want? You gotta respond, because if I, I don't know who you are, I don't know where to uh, send anything to, so I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't do anything for you. Sorry, bro. Um, so please, I want to give away some stuff. I want to give away sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, and stuff. But if you get picked, please just respond to the comment. And uh, so only way you can do that is if you comment on the video, like it, and subscribe. But enough e-begging. Let's just get right on into the video. As you guys have watched my loyal subscribers for the last couple years, I've kind of just been hitting on these same rifles um, for the last couple years doing, you know, whatever I've been doing for that video. Um, you probably have seen all of these guns numerous times in my channel. All doing separate things, all for separate purposes, but I thought it would be kind of cool and I thought it would be kind of interesting to pick my favorite rifle out of my heavy hitters of my collection. I got so many guns, I got a lot more guns than this, but it just seems like I've kind of always gravitated to these ones that you are seeing behind me, um, and they definitely are my favorite ones. But, so, let's just go from uh, favorite or least favorite to favorite, because then you'll stay for the whole video, and it will really help the algorithm, and it will really help me out. Okay, first things first. My least favorite rifle that I have been shooting lately. Drum roll, please. Six hour spear, probably my least favorite rifle out of the guns that I have been shooting um, the most in the last couple years um, for a couple reasons, all right? It's a great rifle. As you've seen in my other videos, I like this rifle. It's, a f it's very fun to shoot. Um, it's, you know, had zero malfunctions. There's a lot of good ergonomics to it, and there's a lot of really, really great things to this rifle. And I do like it. I really, really do like the Sig Spear. But I'm going to put it in probably my least favorite rifle to shoot out of the group. For one, it's just too heavy, man. It's just too freaking heavy. Uh, I don't like carrying this thing around. Um, I don't, I, dude, I don't even put it in a case. I'm just like, I'm not lugging that thing around, dude. I just throw it in the back of my car, and I'm like, all right, here we go. Um, so it's just, it's just too heavy. It's just not very fun to carry around, you know? I don't, I don't like carrying this thing around. And the accuracy. It's not, it's not, it's not the best accuracy out there. And I do a lot of long-range shooting, so I go for more pretty good accurate rifles is kind of my niche and this just one is not it it fills a lot of other good roles but just the one that i'm kind of you know the the stuff that i like to do long range shooting and things like that this really isn't the one for me to be honest uh there's a lot of other better rifles that i own and there's a lot of other uh rifles that i like to shoot um first over this. So that is why I would put the Sig Spear as probably my least favorite rifle to shoot out of the heavy hitters that I own. Going into my second least favorite. Drum roll please. The Six Hour Spear ST. 
LT, excuse me. <laughs> the Sig Spear LT is probably my um, second least favorite favorite rifle to shoot. Kind of where I'm going again with the, you know, with the Spear. It is a great rifle. It has a lot of great attributes to it and you can do a lot of a lot of great things with this this rifle it's a great you know ar style rifle you know if you're running drills with it or um you know shooting out to 200 yards 100 yards or, or whatever it may be but that's just not what i do that's not really my niche in shooting i do long range stuff so every time i come out with this thing um it's just kind of not really what I do, you know, I don't really sit at a hundred yards and, and, you know, do drills and stuff like that. I just don't, I don't get enjoyment out of that. It's just not really for me. Um, so I don't really get as much use out of this thing as I thought I would. Um, this is my home defense gun <laughs> right now. So this is my bedside gun and that's really about it. Um, if I was, you know, into more doing drills and, you know, Q, Q, C, B, whatever the hell it is, crap, you know, running around like Lucas, T-Arm, T-Rex man, arms, uh, looking like a fairy running around, then yeah, I would probably pick this rifle because it's a, it's a great AR style rifle and um, it's, it's, it's been, we, we did a thousand round test with it and it held up completely, completely fine. I put about 3,000 rounds through it, zero problems with it, had a really good time shooting it. but. For the purpose of this video, it's probably my second least uh, favorite rifle to shoot. Um, so, yeah, so I'm gonna go Spear LT. Not, not, not my favorite one to shoot. Feel kind of bad saying talking, throwing the throwing the spears into the bottom of the barrel, but. Like, it just kind of makes it seem, like, a, please do not take this video as Andrew thinks that these, these rifles are not good rifles. I've made a bunch of videos on all of these things. As you can see, definitely go check out the other videos, and I talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly about every single one of them. Um, so I do like all of them, but please don't just watch this video and be like, oh, he put those in the bottom of the barrel. They're not great rifles, because they are, they are great rifles. I love, I love the Spear and the Spear LT, but... Um, just kind of, if I went on just a, you know, a glory shoot, going to a glory hole, what? Just going out to shoot um, and do my favorite style of shooting, I would not go with these rifles. So that's why I put them in the bottom of the barrel. But please, I can't say it enough. They are not, they are not bad rifles. They're, they're, they have, you know, they have some really good attributes to them. So don't take everything I say as gospel. But rolling into my third least favorite rifle to shoot goes to the Barrett Mark 22. My third fa least favorite rifle to shoot. Um, probably my favorite bolt action rifle to shoot. But if you had to give me a choice, you know, give me your favorite rifles to go down, this would probably be my third um, third, third, uh, favorite, maybe, just for a couple reasons. For one, it's stupid heavy. It's stupid heavy. Two, it's extremely expensive to operate. 300 Norma Mag, uh, 300 PRC. These, right, th those calibers are not cheap to shoot. I don't really like shooting them because they're so expensive. And I hand load, too. I haven't done it in a while, but I should probably get back into it because, um, shooting 300 PRC or 300 Norma Mag will definitely make you broke fast. So that's one reason why I don't really like shooting this, the, the Barrett Mark 22. And for giving this thing any sort of challenge, you're gonna need a thousand yard range easily. You get, you're gonna need a thousand yard range. When I go and shoot at my range with a, with a thousand yards, Dude, I warm the barrel up at a thousand yards. It's it's just it's just not even a challenge for it. So to actually like put this thing through its paces, um, you're gonna need some serious distance. Which which is why I'm like, man, you know, I'm not gonna bring this rifle out and shoot 200 yards. It's just a waste of ammo, and it just it it's just doesn't even do anything. So uh, definitely something like this, you are going to need some serious range to um, 
get a challenge out of this rifle and there's just nothing around here in New England that 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 this thing can't hit so maybe I'll have to go down to like North Carolina what's the hate Creek or whatever it is or wherever and go shoot the mile uh, the mile long shot with it which that even a mile a mile long probably is no challenge for this thing I mean geez dude look at the barrel look at this thing I'm six eight I'm six eight and this thing's up to like my Adam's apple you know <laughs> I'm not six eight but <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's why I put the Barrett Mark 22. It's probably my third least favorite rifle to shoot. It's very heavy. You need some serious, serious range to um, even scratch the surface of its capabilities. And it is extremely expensive to operate. That's why I put it in my third least favorite rifle to have fun with. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Going into my second favorite rifle to shoot goes to SCAR 20. I've said it before and I'll say it again and damn it, I am not apologizing about it. I love the SCAR. I love the SCAR 20. It's probably one of my favorite rifles of all time. There's just something about it that I really, really enjoy. I just have a great time shooting this, this gun. Um, the accuracy is very good. Uh, the trigger is the trigger comes with the uh, SSAE right out of the box, so it's a really really great rifle. I love the Scar. Um, it's it's has never failed me, and I honestly do believe it will never fail me. Uh, why I like the Scar is because you know you can go to the range and you could do anything out to a thousand yards to a hundred yards and still have a good time. Ammo the 308. It's uh, fairly cheap. You know 308's not too too bad. So it's pretty, it's pretty inexpensive to operate and you know, it's still, um, it still has the capability to go out to any range that you can possibly try hitting. I'm not going to say you're going to hit it, but it will go out to um, some serious distance and you know, you can still have fun with it at 100 yards or 200 yards or something like that. You don't need no 1500 yards like the, like, you know, like the Barrett Mark 22 to go have fun with, you know. So that is why I like the SCAR 20. It's by far one of my favorite rifles and I have a strong feeling it will be up at my uh, top favorite rifles for probably a very, very long time. If you guys can count and you can see what's behind me, you already know what my favorite rifle to shoot is, but drum roll please. My favorite rifle to shoot is good old Mark 12 Mod 1. Oh, man, man, I love this thing. I love this thing. This, I don't think that there will ever be any rifle out there that will uh, steal the number one spot away from Mark 12 here as the most fun rifle to shoot. Um, this, thing is, this thing is amazing. I love this rifle. I've always loved this rifle from day one. And I, I, again, I don't think that there will be, uh, I don't think that there, I don't think that there will be a rifle out there for a very, very, very long time in my book that I will like probably more than the Mark 12. It's good at distance. It's good up close. It just fills so many different roles. And this is by far, if I had to pick one rifle to go do something with, it would be the Mark 12. It just does all of it. Range, close, Q, QWB. T-Rex arms crap. All sorts of stuff, dude. Um, I love the Mark 12. I made tons of videos on it. And it, again, I can't say it enough. It's always been, and it always will be, probably my favorite rifle of all time is the good old Mark. Um, you know, the suppressor's quiet. Like, dude, they just don't make suppressors like they used to, all right? There's nothing, like, it's weird. This, like, design is, this the, the AEM-5 design is stupid old. And it's by far one of the quietest suppressors I own, which is, which, which is weird. So, stupid old design, probably, what, 30 years old or something like that? Probably about 30 years old. 25 years old, I don't know. Old design, but still, nothing out there beats this rifle. I just cannot say it enough how much I love the good old Mark 12. She wins.
She takes the trophy. She takes the trophy on my top favorite heavy hitter to shoot out of my collection and well deserved. Well deserved. If you don't have a Mark 12, then your parents failed you. You know that? Everybody's failed you. This world has failed you if you do not have a Mark 12. Just don't even, don't even finish this video, all right? Get off the video and go buy a Mark 12. Daniel Defense, or I, this is a full Colt one, but, which again, I don't think you can beat the original, but anywho, uh, get off the YouTube, go build yourself a Mark 12, go buy a Mark 12, and your life will be complete. But, Mark 12, number one spot for, the, for my heavy hitters. So that's that. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, now I gotta go buy like a whole new collection of guns and then we will redo it. Uh, it will give me another couple years to make videos on, but that's that. My least favorite rifle to shoot was the Sig Spear, and then goes to the Spear LT, then the Mark 22, then the Scar, and then the Chef's Kiffs. The Mark 12. Like, like it's not even, there's nothing bad about it. I love the thing. So, I always will. But, thank you guys again for, for tuning in. Kind of a lame video. But, uh, we got some more stuff coming in the future. And, uh, it will be great. So, thank, thank you again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys back out there. Later.